I'm very excited to talk with our next guest. You can even go as far as to say this is my most anticipated interview I've ever conducted. This man will change the shape or and change and shape the Orlando sports landscape for generations to come. This man holds the hopes and dreams of little cleat wearing boys and girls all across Central Florida as well as their enchanting soccer mothers. But first, let's check in with a few of our esteemed colleagues and friends of the show, James Mercado and Mitch Ehrman from Falling for Sarah. Guys, what's going on over there? Happy Halloween. Theater. What's Happy up, Halloween to you. James, how's it going? I'm very, very, very good. James, every time I talk to you, you're just like, the Peter, like you're like that guy at the bar that's like, oh, uh, Bricotto, you know, here's old Bricotto, you know, piano man. Uh, what's going on for you guys in the month of November? Hey, you know, um, there's a there's a great restaurant that actually Mitch and I both play at. It's called Ocean Prime. Nice. It's probably the nicest restaurant in Central Florida. Wow, definitely. That's I, a stretch. I, I, and I mean that. I'm a I'm a foodie. I go I go oh. around to different restaurants and and judge. <laughs> Are you on Yelp? <laughs> sure. No. Okay. But yeah. anyways, I'll uh, but be there. Yeah, so what, are you guys, you guys are performing there, right? Yeah, actually, I, we do a, a one-man band kind of show there, and uh, I'll be there the, um, the first weekend, the first Friday and Saturday of November, and then... Uh, I heard it's a, the 19th and 26th 19th also. and the 26th, that's a Friday, and the 26th is a, uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Put it on your calendar and come down. Try the food. The atmosphere is, is beautiful. Uh... Uh, Mitch, I think you're going to be there one time next month too on a on a on a Tuesday. Yeah, I got it. I got the Tuesday second now. Tuesday, the yep. second Tuesday of November. Mitch Groovy. is going to be there. Yep. Come check out, eat the food, have a sit, sit, take the atmosphere in uh, in the lounge. It's fantastic. Eat, sit, enjoy, listen, drink, drink. <laughs> most of all, drink. All right, very cool. <laughs> thank you guys. All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out with us on this spooky Halloween night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the CEO of your Orlando City Soccer Club, Mr. Steve Donner. He's right here. Here he is. Thank you. We got a uh, we got a small crowd tonight, but that, a lot of people like to watch online. Uh, right. But you know what? They're fierce over there. They could just <laughs> like, rip. Yeah, look at them. Awesome. Look at them. They're like nuts. Sir, sir, stay in your seat, please. <laughs> Thank you. Pants on. Keep the camera off that. Anyhow, all right, so, Mr. Donner, uh, we have some un, you know, unfinished business right now. Last I chatted with you, uh, our faithful Titans were losing in the semifinals of the Indoor Lacrosse League, uh, the MLL, sorry. Uh, and wh what's going on with that franchise? Are they coming back to Orlando? What's up? They're going to come back. Uh, you know, we had a great first year, went all the way to the semifinals. Yeah. One bad quarter, practically cost us a run of the championship. At the end of the season, we had a little turmoil with our ownership group. Um, but I'm happy to say, and this is really a, sort of a scoop, I guess you would say, because mm -hmm. uh, the ownership group of uh, Orlando City are going to be bringing back the Titans uh, this year as well. Get out. Yeah. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Sir, please keep your pants on. <laughs> Jeez. Brent, how many times? No cousins, no relatives coming in here. Uh, okay, so boom, on to the future. That's great. I'm very excited about it. Um, your resume goes on. We're talking about bringing the Lightning to Tampa. Correct. We're talking about bringing the Rochester Rhinos to be, and uh, you're wearing your 1999 uh, Open Cup, Open Cup ring. championship ring. Um, now, why, why call for soccer in Orlando? Because I think it fits perfectly. Well, it's a number of factors. Uh, I think you know we're looking to bring the uh, highest level soccer in America to a southeastern city. Mm -hmm. If you look at what MLS is doing, most of their uh, expansion has been in the northeast, mm -hmm. midwest, and the really next two or three teams are going to be somewhere in the south. That's great. Uh, Tampa's had a shot at it, didn't quite work out too well. Miami is a really tough market for sports all the way around. And with the growth of Orlando, just the international nature of the city, uh, just uh, you know, tremendous uh, number of people playing soccer, mm -hmm. and the growth of, of sports in, in general, you know, with the Magic doing so well mm -hmm. over the last five, six years. Uh, vitamin water is slippery. Vitamin water, it's I good. caught it though. <laughs> I think add to that, you know, two of our owners are British. Yeah. Oh, okay. As we all know, the Brits love Orlando. They do. Uh, love the ease in and out. And part of our organization is going to be involved in player development. Cool. So being able to get the players in and out uh, and then having a facility, even though it's aging, like the Citrus Bowl that's empty all right. summer. Uh, gives us a leg up and being able to get to Major League Soccer very quickly. Well, you'll be able to catch all of the, uh, you like that? You'll be able to catch the, uh, the, the, the club over at the Citrus Bowl, right? And there, there's plans to renovate that stadium, is there not? You know, they're putting $10 million into it as we speak right now. Uh, hopefully if the 
you know, tourism tax uh, comes around, they, they've got $175 million tar wow. targeted for a tremendous renovation of the facility. Hopefully, with us keeping it busy in the summertime and bringing high-level events will sort of help that along as well. That's great. You know, like, um, like Seattle has a team now. They're one of the new expansion teams. Philadelphia had a team this year, and they're, uh, they're very Philadelphia. It's like a very physical team. You know, most very people physical. say, you know, want dirty, whatever the case. <laughs> what kind of team do you think Orlando should have? You know what, Orlando, our, our coach loves, he was an offensive player yeah. when he played the game over in England. Uh, our team's going to score a lot of goals. Oh, yeah. So you're going to see a wide open style of play, mm -hmm. which I believe, you know, when you're trying to sell to American fans in particular, you know, you, you've got to score goals yeah. in America to really get, gather the audience you want. So and we're going to be talented, fast, and score a lot of goals. And the clubs coming over from Austin, they're relocating. Uh, is, are the same players going to come over? Uh, what's, how, how's it going to exchange hands? Great like news that? is uh, our head coach, Adrian Heath, is signed with a three-year contract. Brilliant. The players that we had playing for the team this past year in Austin are under three-year contracts as well. So I think we'll do a little tweaking in the offseason, try to bolster our lineup a little bit. We lost Eddie Johnson right. to Portland in the MLS. Uh, but I think you'll see, you know, one nice thing about it, we're not bringing an expansion team mm -hmm. here. This is a team that's played together for two years. They were one point away from winning the championship this year in the USL, and we're going to have a championship level club here well, in Orlando. Well, we may see, well, Eddie, like you said, Eddie Johnson was dealt to Portland, who's going to be the next expansion team with the Whitecaps in Correct. MLS. Uh, what, how, what's that process like to bring an MLS team here? You know what? It's, it's a total effort on, par, on the part of the community. You know, we have to have the proper ownership. Mm -hmm. We have to have the experience in management, which we do. We have got about probably 100 years of sports management within our group. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you, you know, you have to have a city that's a major market, a major TV market. And in our case, you know, we've looked ahead and, and have seen that MLS has to uh, expand somewhere down south. Yeah. So, you know, we've got the infrastructure. We've got ownerships connected to overseas, plenty of management experience. I think now we have to build our infrastructure, fan base, mm -hmm. corporate support. If we can put it all together, we wrap up a great package to show to Major League Soccer. And the timeline for that is? You know, our goal is within four years, maybe three. Wow. But, you know, within four years, we hope to be elevating quickly. I think that'd be excellent. A couple quick things before we leave. I know people want to know it. Orlando City Soccer Club, that will be the name of the team. That's name the name of the, of the team. Okay, so go City. And then uh, where can we look as far as open tryouts? I heard that's going to be happening. Open tryouts will probably be sometime in early December. Great. Uh, we look online to our website to, for further information. Which is? OrlandoCitySoccer.com. And you can search for you guys on Facebook, right? Facebook as well. Yeah. Okay. And uh, where are we on a timeline of getting a crest out there? I hope to like be able to show a crest within uh, two to three weeks. We've been working on it for a month now. Oh, brilliant. And uh, we're, we're in the final stages. And our office opens up this week in town. Wow. So come uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, watch online. We're going to have a fantastic opening ticket special. Brilliant. Uh, starting this Wednesday. So Wednesday, go to the website, you'll be able to see it? Yep. Um, okay. Finally, people want to know so they can buy t-shirts and stuff and colors. What are the colors going to be of the club? Primarily, we're going to be a, a red and white. Okay. Uh, possibly a little blue. Uh, but it's going to be primarily sort of like a Stoke look a little bit. Yeah, because our sister clubs are Stoke City and, and uh, Burnley. Burnley, which right. are English clubs. Correct. All right, brilliant. Well, thank you. You know, thanks a lot for coming in oh, here. Give it up for, for Steve me. Donner. He's an awesome guy. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you very much.